Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Etc., the new five-song EP from friends of the channel, The Dollheads. I've reviewed and interviewed this act before, so I have a fairly good idea of what's in store for me on this one. If you'd like to be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the Room 6 email address or a social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find ways to support what I do here, and what the heck, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share while you're down there. Thanks! This may be their sophomore album, but I have a feeling Etc. is just the beginning of a long career that'll keep going and going. See what I did there? Because it's called Etc. And I said it'll keep going. Ah, uh, you get it. This video is brought to you by Canva. We'll hear more about them later. But for now, let's get on to today's video. Kicking things off with a bang, the first track is The Microphone. Raising the pop punk flag from the get go, this catchy bop follows the tried and true recipe of upbeat rhythms and solid earworms to get the listener's attention. In the same vein as their song I Wish I Were a Demon from the first album, this track makes it impossible not to walk around singing lyrics like, there's no point in talking when no one wants to listen, and it's hard to get attention when they say you don't have problems. The second track is the aggressively titled This Bitch, and this time, the band came to fight. What's your name, Chris, right? Can you fight, Chris? Building on the momentum from the first song, this track is pure teen anger, as the protagonist rages about an antagonist who is, well, a bit of a bitch. Another fast-paced rocker, this one's got Mosh Pit written all over it as the band utilizes rapid firepower chords and a breakdown full of menacing whispers that builds back up and leads to lyrics like, and this bitch has a superiority complex and it's eating her up, and this bitch is the reason why I'll be in an asylum, cause we're all a little crazy, but she's driving me insane, and if this bitch had half a brain, she'd know what she'd wind up dead. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks Josh from the past. You know, people often underestimate the power of a well-designed graphic or a cohesive image for your entire project. That goes for YouTubers and for musicians. By now, you've probably heard of Canva, but have you heard of Canva Pro? Canva Pro is the design software that makes design simple, convenient, and reliable. Create what you need in no time. Jam-packed with time-saving tools that make anyone look like a professional designer. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a 30-day free trial. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Canva for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Changing things up a bit is No Rain, the third and longest track on the album. Starting with a muted drum beat and palm muted guitar chords, this tune slowly builds and explodes into a very well produced love anthem. For anyone that's heard their first album, this song shows a decided growth and maturity in the band's songwriting and layering of instrumentation. And this growth is also reflected in lyrics like, I'd melt like wax on your warm skin, a touch like the ocean, but electric. I can't get enough of your smile or of your hand in mine. Coming up next is Hallways, another straight ahead pop punk rocker. Coming out of the gate swinging with a catchy guitar riff, this time the subject matter is about a love interest instead of a love story. Using multiple memories from school days to convey the ubiquitous feelings of unrequited love. This one's fairly simple in terms of instrumentation, and that's okay. Keeping things simple suits the story here perfectly, with lyrics like, When I'm trying to rest, you know you still get the best. You've got me losing my head. Thank God it's still on my neck. Finishing things up is Desolate Girl, a song that deserves to be blasted at full volume. Combining elements of classic rock and pop punk, this tune perfectly encapsulates everything that came before it on the album. The layered instrumentation is back, along with great use of dynamics and head-banging chord structures that make it impossible to not enjoy it. This one also gives off some emo vibes with lyrics like, I look in the mirror, see that hollow-eyed girl staring back at me. She blinks twice, she frowns, she turns around. She just can't stand what she sees. Overall, this is a great way to end a great album and makes me excited to see what this family of teenagers have in store for the future. I'm so glad they asked me to check it out, and I think you'll be glad you did too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down below to get your own copy of Etc. by the Dollheads. It's a solid 
solid album full of solid bops, and I really think you'll enjoy. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, please click up there, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And if you want to hear my own music, which is not nearly as good as their music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.